In this problem, we are given uh, an array or list of numbers. Some will be positive, some will be negative. Even zero can be there. So uh, you have to find the first missing positive number. And uh, that means the smallest positive number that can be put there. So let's look at an example and it will be clear. So let's say we have this. So its size is three. So we have zero here. Zero does not count whether it exists or not. So for smallest positive number will be one. Next is two. So one is present, two is also present, three is not present. So this is the smallest that we can get. So we return three. Here, again, uh, we will check for one, one is there, two is not there. So here we will return two. Here, one is not there. So we will return one. So what should be our approach? We are asked to do it in O of n, where n is the number of elements in the list. So this is the requirement of the problem. And another requirement is that space should be O of 1. These two requirements should be satisfied. If these requirements are not there, you could have all, uh, easily sorted them. So these are not in sorted order. You can sort them and then find where is 1. Or if 1 is not there, then uh, you will return 1. If 1 is there, then you will, uh, if it's sorted, you can just traverse it left to right. And the first place you find a missing value, you return that. So that would be n log n, but we are not allowed to do that. It should be O of n. Another thing is that if this second constraint was not there, so this is time, this is space. So let's say space constraint was not there. So what you would do, uh, first thing, uh, how you can find the missing number. So there is one case. First case is that one is not there. So one is missing. So we will search in this list because one is the smallest uh, positive number followed by two, three, four and so on. So one is not there, then return one. This is easy case. Searching can be done in O of n, even if it's not sorted. If it's sorted, log n, but, but O n is good for us. Another case is that one is present. So this is minus one, this is plus one. So this case is the main case that we need to handle. Now think, Let's say we have an array of size 5. So, so one thing can be that we have all the numbers from 1 to 5. So 1 is there, 2 is there, 3 is there, 4 is there, 5 is there. Then we will return 6. But if all of these are not present, some other value is present, like uh, we have 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 6, like this. So we have five spots and we have we don't have all of these numbers one two three four five so we have only five spots so other number can only come when one of these are not present then only we can put some other number there because the slot is fixed as in this case or uh, what are missing here we have four and five are missing two numbers that's why we have two other numbers so its size is from one to five so if one to five are not present some other numbers are present Let's say k numbers are different from 1 to 5. k numbers from 1 to 5 are missing. Then those will be, those k numbers will be some other value. For example, in minus 1 and 6 are out of range of 1 to 5. So what is the worst case? Is that any missing number will be from 1 to n plus 1, where n is the size. As we can see in this case, if we have a size of 5 and all of them are present, then what is the smallest value possible? 6. What is 6? 6 is n plus 1 because n is 5. If this is not the case, as in this case, it will be less than or equal to n. So if we are allowed to use space, what we would do? We would traverse this. So to start traversing this list and put them in a set. So 3 is in a set, has set, so that we can query for it in constant time. Put 2 in set, 1 in set minus 1. If it's negative or 0, let's skip it. And we put 6 in the set. So these are in the set. Now we know that any missing number will be from only 1 to n plus 1. And you know the reason why. So we can start a loop for i equal to 1 to n plus 1. And this is set s. So we need to check if s dot find. So if it's not in s then return i 
this ith value was not present so write not here if we did not encounter this situation we will encounter this situation in fact if not till n then n plus 1 so we, we we will get this situation sometime so this should be enough and searching here in this set hash set will be o of 1 and this outer loop will take n time so overall o of n but this space is o of n as well so how can we avoid that to meet the second scenario so we don't need to keep these in set first thing is that if one is missing this this is very simple you all get it the second scenario is that one is present then we check if size is also one and one is present then what is the smallest two so this is another base case if it's more than one then uh, start traversing it and go to that index so let me draw it on separate page we have let's take the same example or let's take this one 3 4 minus 1 1 and 2 also so its size is 5 so first traverse it make all the values which are less than or equal to 0 or more than n equal to 1 now we are handling this scenario only this branch so it's confirmed that one is present otherwise we would have returned here itself so now one is present so any irrelevant value we can make one so now what will happen two three four or let's add a six here make it six two three six minus one one so this is six this is uh, one this is one in fact this is also one because this is more than five now we have size of five and one of these numbers are missing from one to six so what we will do whatever value we encounter we go to that index and make that negative if it's positive so now now in this array we have all the numbers from 1 to n because anything greater than n we had changed to 1 so now it's strictly between 1 to n and our index is uh, from 0 to n minus 1 so all the values are from 1 to n all the individual values and index is from 0 to n so exactly matching so let's say we got 2 so we need to shift 1 so if it's 2 then make the index at position 1 4 is n minus 1 so 2 is there so go to 2 minus 1 because if 1 is there go to first place so we come here make it negative so this is minus 3 the next is 3 so go to index 2 1 less than this due to this region numbers are 1 to n index is 0 to n minus 1 3 is there so come here make it negative 1 1 means 0 make it negative then again 1 it's already negative uh, again 1 it's al already negative uh, it's already negative so we stop this is the of output after this uh, transformation next let's come here so this number was made negative because we had 1 so now we have i i equal to 0 to n minus 1 so ith value is negative because there was some value i plus 1 in this list so negative fine negative fine fine the first value is this one which is positive that means 0 1 2 3 that means 4 was not present in the original list so we return 4 so this is the algorithm so now uh, it will take o of n time and space also we are not using any extra space we are modifying the input that was given to us so uh, space is also of one so both conditions are satisfied so let's write the code for this so first we will check for one contains one
and once we found one we don't need to proceed further we can break from this if one is missing return one next the other scenario so now when it proceeds beyond this point it means one was present now if size is also one then return two this is a base case next we are doing the transformation so if it's less than 0 it's of no use to us or it's greater than n then also it's of no use to us because once we find any number greater than n then the missing value will be from 1 to n and not beyond that because if some value is more than n that means some value from 1 to n was missing and in place of that only this number came So maybe we have already modified this num psi, so that will be invalid index. So we are always this x is acting as an index, one more than index. So this value of x can be from one to n, and the indices are from zero to n minus one. So we are subtracting one here. So if it's greater than zero, then make it negative. or we can multiply by minus 1 and we are done with this transformation next we will just iterate through this uh, vector and the first index where we find a positive value we return one more than that because if that uh, let's say we find negative at fifth index that means 6 was not present otherwise we would have uh, made it negative here if 6 was present if x was 6 in this then we would have come at fifth index and whatever value was there index 5 then we would have made it negative else if none of these scenarios occur then it's the good case where all the numbers from 1 to n are present so we return n plus 1 and the solution is accepted and we are here you can try a few times it can go here also now we will write it in java and python not much change is required here And the Java solution is also accepted and we are right on top. Next let's do it in Python.
and the python solution is also accepted and here also it's good 